All right, pee pee hands. Hmm. It's uh, that's quite the tag here. And uh, who is he fighting, Mr. GB? Oh, okay. No, that's not his tag. Bert versus GB. Ooh, Inkling versus Ganon. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, Ganon definitely is nowhere near as bad as he is in, uh, was in previous games. Uh, and Inkling, of course, is looking fantastic here in Ultimate. So I am very curious to see how this goes. So, uh, Bert and uh, is just getting a few easy hits out on him, trying to. Uh, all right, I need, I need to trace my thoughts over here. So, we're very much still within the, I think, the neutral game over here. Okay, Bert taking some nice, nice uh, grabs, making the most out of them. And Ganon Ball is just not really able to... Oh, oh, I, I, I speak too soon. Because that, 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 is, that is, I guess, the thing. Um, Bert's obviously going to be able to get a lot more hits down on him. Up. Oh, uh, that's, that's already the stock. That's already the stock. That was really fast, actually. Not even a minute down. And Bert already has a good lead on Ganonball over here, which I guess is to be expected with um, Bert versus Ganonball, or with an Inkling versus Ganon. Oh, that was a nice uh, side B right there, but he still needs to score that kill. And Bert's only at 99%. Well, Ganon definitely can bring it up quickly if he's not able to do it soon. Bert's just going to get a nice, nice lead over him, and then it's going to be all but impossible for him to just take this game. So he does not... Oh, oh, and he takes the stock. Okay, so he doesn't have... Bert doesn't have too much of a lead on him right now. This is very much still within Ganon Baller's um, uh, power right now to take this back. Oh, nice side B, but he doesn't seem to be able to do anything with it. Uh, so let's just see what exactly... He's able to bring back. Okay, and Bert, Bert is, you know, taking his time, being very patient, uh, taking hits where he can, not being greedy at all. Uh, so Ganonball is definitely going to have a difficult time. Oh, that was a nice air, and that might be the stock. Right? Yeah, that's going to be the stock. Okay, so uh, if Ganonball is going to take this, he has quite a lot of ground to cover here. Bert only at 51. Okay, 66%. Oh, nice grab right there. Um, oh, those are some nice tilts from Bert over here. Okay, okay. Like I said, it's still potentially within Ganon Baller's uh, power right now, Bert being at 75%. Uh, if he can just get some... Oh, 93%. Okay, so it really just needs about one or two good hits he in here, and he can claim the stock, and then potentially bring this back, but... From what it's looking like, Bird is handling himself. Very nice. Ooh, nice down air from Ganon Baller, but it's not going to be enough to kill. Okay, okay. Now, this is still within his reason because while uh, Bird does not need a lot to kill Ganon Baller right here, um, Ganon Baller, of course, has a lot of rage right now, so it's not going to be too difficult for him to take the stock. But Bert playing a fantastic edge game over on him, just keeping, keeping the his presence on the stage, continually pushing off the, the edge. Okay, Ganon Ball's managed to reclaim the stage, uh, but is it going to be enough with 142% this... Oh! 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 Okay, can he recover from this? And he cannot! Ganon Baller takes the game... Game one. That was that was a very nice comeback right there. Very, very nice. Uh, like, I believe that was his uh, fair. Nice fair. Fantastic. Well, that was an exciting game one. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they can bring to this for game two. So, very curious to see the stage choice that he has over here. Okay, we're taking it back to Smashville. Taking it back to Smashville. How are you doing, Tyler? Alright, so they're of course going to stay the same characters and bring them back to the same stage. So let's see if Bert can bring this back. He, w he was playing very solid game one, uh, but again, the baller was playing it very, very patiently and managed to s 
uh, score that fair. So let's see let's see how things change in game two. Oh, and Bert already going on very strong at this early game. Again, holding his stage preference quite nicely. Uh, already has the percentage lead as expected from uh, from a fast character like uh, Inkling. Something I, I, interesting I learned today is uh, Inkling's actually a heavy character despite being as fast uh, as he is. Um, and actually... <laughs> and actually um, is floaty as well. Which is interesting. Oh, is that gonna be, is that gonna be it? Nope, he's able to bring it back. Able to bring it back, of course, but, ah, oh, darn. This early, already, already takes the stock uh, just at a minute. Bert uh, clearly knows what he's doing. Um, already playing Inkling very well, despite this game being so early on. Uh, but like I said, again, we saw last game, this is still very much possible for uh, Ganon Baller. Already bringing him down to 82%, 97%. It's not going to be too hard for him to finish him off. Uh, so let's just see how this is goes. Hello, Corey. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Bert, it's 160... Uh, 16%. If Ganon is really going to have... Oh, oh, and that's an... Inkling Saibi is so nasty in this game, and he's already he's already brought Ganon Baller down to... Oh, and he finishes the stock again. Has a lead of three stocks over Ganon Baller's one stock. This is going to be ridiculously difficult. Um, okay, cleans the stock. Uh, a little bit easier now, but he still has a two-stock lead over Ganon Baller. So, if... If... Um, Ganonball is going to take this. He is going to have to play it very patiently, very safe. Uh, but Bert clearly knows what he's doing. Okay, nice side B. But he's... That was that was a bit funky. Alright, so Bert already uh, knocking him off stage again. He's been doing a fantastic job of that all set. Just keeping his stage preference knocking uh, Ganon Baller into the air. Oh, and he already has Ganon Baller at 125%. Uh, I would, I, a comeback is potentially possible, because Ganon Baller definitely has that rage, but this is going to be so difficult for him. And Bird is playing it so smart, so well, and just keeping that stage preference that it's going to be ridiculously difficult. And is this going to be it right here? This might be it. Nope, okay. He's able to bring it back. Oh. Darn, he's being so smart. Uh, Oh, and this is going to be it. This is going to be it. Oh, no. Why didn't he uh, F smash there? That would have killed. Regardless. Oh, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the game. So, uh, that means we're now at 1-1. We're going to bring it to a game three situation. Are they going to bring it back to Smashville? That'd be, that'd be interesting. I got to say, I, I really miss uh, having uh, the moving platform on Smashville. Uh, I, do, I do hope that in the future we play Smashville Hazards off. Oh, and bringing it to Battlefield this time, not going back to Smashville, uh, that's going to make it uh, interesting. I, I don't know how uh, well Inkling does on Battlefield, but I know Ganon should do pretty decently. Oh, is uh, is Ganon Baller going to go Mega Man? Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer. Trainer. Ooh, now this, this is going to be interesting. Pokemon Trainer... Uh, has fantastic potential in Ultimate. Uh, I personally want to main him. Um, so I am very excited to see what he does with this. Starting off with Squirtle, uh, we're going to see how this differs from the past two games. So, even game so far. Uh, both each other feeling each other out. Okay, Bert's already knocked him uh, high in the air. He's now playing a juggling game. So, can Genballer get back down onto the bottom? Oof. Oof. Bert, Bert. Oh, oh, that's that's just nasty. Why would you do him like that? He's just a he's just a little squirtle. Alright. So Bert clearly showing he doesn't care what character you play. He's gonna keep a hold of the stage. This is what belong th this belongs to him. He doesn't care if you're a, a big beefy uh, uh, villain or you're a tiny little uh, blue thing. This is his stage, and he's going to keep it. But uh, Ganon Baller um, switching to Ivory Sewer. 
uh, trying to take back that stage. But he's really not able to get a footing on uh, Bert. Bert, uh, with his inkling, his movement is just so good. And he is... Uh, let me keep it quite strong. Oh! Oh, knocked him off stage again. So, in Inkling, of course, having a great tether recovery, meaning uh, stage recovery isn't going to be too difficult. Ooh, that was a nice bomb. That was a nice bomb. I don't think he's going to be... Oh! Oh, that was nasty. That was nasty. But the game definitely is not over yet. Uh, Gannon Baller still has plenty of opportunity to bring this back. Um, keeping the middle of the stage... Ooh. Keeping uh, Bert at the edge of the stage like he's been doing to him. Now, ooh, oh, oh, that was nasty. Kill Ganibar killing Bert at 96% with Charizard side B. You wouldn't think that move would be very good as it has a bit of a slow startup, but it's actually quite nasty. Uh, able to kill very early and doesn't really leave Charizard as vulnerable as you would think it was. It travels so far. So far. Ooh, nice grab from Bert. Already bringing him down to 87%. But Gannibal are saying no side B this time. I know what that does. I ain't dealing with that today. Okay. But Bert, of course, playing it very patiently with his shield. Keeping keeping his stage presence. I, th I think it's kind of brave for uh, Gannibal to keep Squirrel at this high percent. Squirrel being such a lightweight, it's very easy for him to uh, be killed. But he does have some great, uh, great combos that can hopefully get Bert, uh, f well, in his mind, hopefully get Bert higher up. But we're just going to see how this goes. Of course, Bert having him already at 130%, and it's not going to take much for him to, uh, for him to finalize this stock real quick. Ganwell is going to play it very, very carefully here. Only only scoring really a, a hit at a time. Oh, nice F smash from Bert. He's just going to fling him off the stage. Bert has a nice, nice lead over here. So we'll have to see exactly how this goes. Still still possible for Ganyballer, of course. Uh, Pokemon Trainer has a lot of neat tools in his sleeve. Uh, especially with Ivysaur. Ivysaur is a great, great zoner. Oh! Oh, nasty. Nasty, nasty. Bert knows what he's doing here. Just keeping, keeping to the middle of the stage, throwing out those bombs. And uh, staying just out of reach of all of Ganyballer's attacks, bringing him to 105. This, this, this might be it right here. Ooh, that was a nasty... Oh. Bert might just be about to take it here. Okay, Ganabella switches it to I to uh, Charizard, finalizes the stock with that side B. Uh, quite a powerful side B, especially when he has so much rage. But now he's got to do quite a climb. Just about anything from Bert is going to kill right here. If, if he can't get back on stage, it's going to be very difficult for him. Okay, Ganabella manages to get back on stage, tossing Bert around, trying to bring his percent back up. But again, 188%. This is going to be... Ooh! Nice read from Bert right there. That was a nasty, nasty F smash. But that was a good set. That was a very, very good set. And Bert played it very, very well. But get him all he did it. He did a good job. He